Hey, everyone. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to After Hours here at Linda's Electric Quilters. Woo. We are super excited that you are joining us we this are. evening. Mm -hmm. um, we have a really great project for you. Yeah. And my allergies are killing me. You can hear it, can't you? Yes. It's great. <laughs> um, we will get through it together. Yeah. So I can't wait to see what we're working on today. So, Diana, what are we, I, this is, it's a good day. Yeah, I'm it excited. is a good day. It's a good day. So, again, we hope that you have enjoyed some of the videos that we put up. We've kind of put up some projects lately. We're kind of mixing it up a little bit. A little project here, a little quilting here. Right. You know, just kind of throw a, little, a few things out there. Plus, we get to learn stuff along the way, too. So, yeah. that's super fun. So, we hope you fun. enjoy it. So, if you're enjoying it, don't forget to... As always, make sure you subscribe to our channel. So, it's going to be right down there at the bottom right-hand corner. And it is underneath the video. It's not actually, it's not actually in the video. We've gotten yeah. a lot of calls about that. That. It's not actually in the video. It's actually right underneath it. Big red button that says subscribe. Make sure you click that button. I can wait all day. I can do this all day. You're not helping me. <laughs> can wait all day long. Go down there and click that subscribe please button. Please just click it so he doesn't do this all the time. Yes, please click that subscribe <laughs> button. That way you stay up to date with what we're doing here at Linda's Lecture Quilters yep. along with After Hours. Yay. Okay, so I am super excited about this one. This is yeah. a fun one. This is fun. I love anything that's going to make me feel calm and relaxed, she right? She needs it too. Should I, so we are going to show you how to make a weighted eye pillow. Yes. So, so these are what we're going to be showing you today. These are two-sided, 100% cotton and then minky on the other side. You could also soft. do just a plain 100% cotton one if you wanted. But yes. I mean, why? What do you have the nice soft yes. stuff? We could put that on that side or this. Let's just both lay back and relax for a second. It's been um, that kind of day. Yes, you could do that way. Okay. Often. <laughs> um, <laughs> so with these, as, as you know, I know when you watch tutorials, and I'm sure when all of you watch tutorials mm -hmm. as well, that sometimes when you're looking at things and people are making things you're sitting there thinking golly that's a like a lot of like what about like inches how much do i need to cut yeah. mm -hmm. what am i going to get out of this mm -hmm. so i can figure out how to do it myself you know sometimes on screen instructions will pop up but then you have to pause it write them down then you have to rewind it fast forward it it's just a lot of work so we took the work out for took you took all the guesswork out it's of it gone. for you it's gone it's gone and so this is how easy it is Woo! all right so if we go overhead we are going to show you what you need to have for your thing Okay, so you're going to definitely have a couple pairs of scissors around. You can have some larger ones, some smaller ones to get in these corners. You definitely want to have those. You're also going to want to have your pattern. So this pattern, what's really cool about this is when you purchase the kit, yep. and we're going to get into what the kit entails, but when you purchase the kit, you will get a paper printout just to see what it looks like. But at checkout, you will also get the digital download of this as well. So you can use it over and over again, and you'll see why that's important. Right. Biggest thing about this, it says it in the description, but biggest thing on this one is make sure you set your printer to 100% scale yep. when you cut when you print this out. Okay, so you okay. get the pattern. You're going to get a 10 by 10, 100% cotton uh, pre-cut piece of fabric. And they do vary, so it's just going to yes, be they're all, all different. different. So it'll just be kind of what it's picked off the shelf, but they're really pretty spring colors. Right. So I've got this one. I'm going to lay that to the side. You're going to get two 10 by 10 pieces of muslin. Mm -hmm. And why would you need that? That's going to be the lining for the inside of the mask. Because exactly. you know, you'll see why in a second. Yep. And then you're going to have a 10, 11, 12, -ish, depending on how I was cutting it that day, yeah. ish <laughs> square of uh, Cuddle Lux Minky uh, for the other side as well. So what I want you to know here is that we're actually cutting these pieces for you. So you do not have to buy a whole yard of this for this right. project. And these You're kits going to be pre-cut kits, pre -cut kits super inexpensive, fun way to make this uh, gift or fun thing for yourself. Right. I, All right. I would say for me. For me. What else do you need? <laughs> um, so you also are going to need some white rice and some flex seed. You can just do white rice if you wanted to, but I've kind of mixed it up there. Um, and this is um, 10 ounces. So I did okay. 5 ounces of white rice and 5 ounces of the So what does that equivalent to seed? for those of us that don't know our ounces? Like a, a cup and a fourth, so a cup okay. and a quarter. cup and a quarter, cup yep. and a half. Yep. Just and a so little mixture there, two parts of that. Yep, and then you're going to want a funnel, so that way you can put it in there afterwards. Okay, awesome. Yep. Well, let's get into the pattern. So okay. let's look at that. All right. So you're going to take your regular cutting scissors. I'm not going to use these because I know y'all are going to read me in the comments for using <laughs> fabric scissors on paper because um, there is a difference. You know that. Yes, there is. Um, you're going to cut the uh, eye pillow pattern out, and yep. it's going to end up looking like that. Mm -hmm. You'll have that cut out. And we're going to set that over to the side. I'll put it with my machine. Move this. And what I'm going to start out by doing here is taking one of my muslin squares, laying that down flat, take my minky, lay that face up, right mm -hmm. sides up, however you want to call it, mm -hmm. just like so. I'm going to take my 100% cotton square, 
right side down or face to face, as Diana face says. Face to face, that's right. And then I'm going to take my last muslin square, lay that right on top. Okay, Good gotcha. so far? Yep. Okay. I'm going to then take my pattern and lay that right on top. I'm doing this at a diagonal. Yeah, just to have more Just a little space. more space yep. to work with. Mm -hmm. You can cut it close by doing the sides here and maybe getting two out of that. But I like just to cut it to the sides here, and I can use that spare stuff or something. I'll figure it out. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to take some pins. We all like to use pins. Diana figured that out when she was uh, piecing her first quilt. Yep. Straight pins are nice to have. So I'll just pin that through all the layers, just right here in the center. One there and another one here. So now all I have to do is I can actually just take this over to the machine okay. and I can stitch right along the outside of this dotted line right here. Okay. Not going to do the center one yet. That's just there for reference, but we just want to do this outside dotted line. And we want to make sure that you leave some extra space on the side. So if yep. you need to put a little note there, you can so you don't stitch over, but oh, leave some space well, on the that. side so that way you can put all your goodies in. Nice little um, open part here. We'll write open. Yeah. Just to leave that maybe that little section there. Because we also have to turn this inside out. Correct. Yep. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this over here to the sewing machine. And I'm going to just throw this on here. And while you're stitching that down, I'm going to tell them a little bit about the, the, oh, the essential oil spray that we are going to use just as an extra bonus. Okay. So we have a... Um, manufacturer right next door to us that actually produces and makes all kinds of essential oils, natural stuff, you know, all organic type of things. And so she came up with a spray that we could like spray onto our pillows. Um, I love eucalyptus because it just makes me, I just like it. So depending on what side that takes my stress away basically, depending on what side you're going to lay on your face, you'll spray the opposite. So because I like the really soft side, I'm going to spray the opposite on there. All I, it, it's very strong. All I need is one, let it sit there, and then I'm just going to go over here and put it on like that. Super nice. So whether it's that or lavender, because you really just want to relax, take the stress away, or you just want to have a little bit of grapefruit or meandering smell in the house. These are super fun. So she made these for this, and we'll have some kits made up just kind of individual with them. So if you want to try them out, because they are awesome. And so, and they, they just make you relax. Or if you didn't want to spray it, like, on the eye pillow, yep. you could just spray it in the air, lay down. It's going to do the and same thing. Let it. Let him mask <laughs> in it, yeah. Anyway, so now that you've got that done. Yep. So I'm just coming in with my rotary cutter. And I'm just cutting the more, you know, kind of the further parts here. And I should probably do a little bit more pressure with this multi-layers here. Yeah, but kind of just layers. squaring it up a little bit here. Just to make it easier to cut around it right. when it's time to cut. Especially because there's so many layers. Ooh, rocking the blade, rocking the boat. Just like that. Okay. okay. Put that blade away. And then I can come in with my scissors and cut up close to this line here. And the pattern, as you can see, is just more of a guide. So if you miss a line, it's okay. You just want to make sure you get those curves in there. Right. Just like so. I feel like cutting on camera is the hardest thing because <laughs> everyone's watching you, especially with all these layers. Yeah, that's quite a few layers. Yeah, there's quite a few. It's fine. I like how we just the stitch through the pattern though, so it's, they don't have to measure anything. They just throw this on, there and they're go. good to go. Yeah. yeah, and you're gonna see it'll turn out just like what we just showed you too. It's super cool. Maybe we tried different nice. multiple ones just to see how fun it would be. So I'm just gonna keep cutting around this just like so i love anything aromatherapy yeah. anything that you can just relax to i mean we've all we all have stressful days and this is just that kind of nice put it on the weighted feel look and just relaxing and then if you add the the oil mist sprays with it you're just gonna be so relaxed so fast you just don't know what to do good to go so you can clean this up if you would like to okay. i'm not going to because i'm not super worried about it but then I just take in here and I have that little opening, so I put my thumb between the opening. Um, I, um, where are you going to? You're going to take this off first, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take this off first. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the thumb yeah, between the opening. Yeah, I just have my thumb there. between the opening and the paper. I thought you were going to flip it already. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so thumb between the muslin and the paper, and then I can just pull this right off. If you kind of follow along the seam or along the stitching line, the seam line, um, it's kind of a little bit easier to keep it intact. And this is just regular printer paper, nothing mm -hmm. fancy. 
Yep. And then you can pull all this around. If you have some tweezers nearby, you can use those as well if it makes it a little easier for you to get some of these smaller pa uh, paper particles out. That was a big word. <laughs> Um, paper particles, paper yeah, particles, paper, paper, paper particles. particles. Um, you can clean that up really nice and get all those out of there as well as you're yeah. working around it. And then you, after you get all that off, you just do kind of some of those little slits to make the fabric lay down a little bit flat, right? Uh -huh. So I can take my scissors and I'm just going to do these little tiny slits. Nothing, you know, nothing crazy, just straight lines. Every now and then I'm going to do this actually all the way around it. Yeah. Just to make well, it lay good. a little easier. Especially with so many layers, it's good to do that. Yeah. So I'm just working my way around this as I go. I should have got you a pair of scissors. You could have helped me with those. No, oh, you're doing great. I'm observing. I'm the student. And done. Okay. Oh no, I got that. Got this corner too. Whoops. There we go. All right. So then I can take these, and then this is where the fun begins. Let's just open that up. Pull this all through because we're flipping this inside out, just like that. And what I'm gonna do is, if you have a, you know, either a seam pusher outer thingy or stiletto. a stiletto or That's a pin right. that you know you don't have the ink in, um, then you can use that to help push out those seams, mm -hmm. just to kind of round it out a little bit. And I'm just doing that. So you just going across there, pulling that out. That just makes it lay really nice and flat, a little bit more open for you. Yep, works really well that way. And just remember, because you are using Minky, you're not going to iron it. You just do it this way. Um, you won't you, you won't put this into the microwave. This is really is for um, the weighted look, and then this. Get the, it in the freezer. I'd you like can put it in the freezer. One. Yeah, yeah you can definitely do nice. that. Okay. Okay, just like Perfect. that. All right. So what's then we next? have our little opening. So let's grab the funnel, and we want to make sure you're going into the lining there. Did you spill some stuff? I did. Now I'm not going to have my full ten ounces. No, sorry. You'll have nine point eight six five ounces. Okay. All right. <laughs> And I'm going to pour this into my funnel, just like so. And then it just becomes a game of shaking. Shake, shake, shake. Oh. So I can get it all in yep. there. You might need a larger funnel if you have one. It makes it a little easier for using rice and flaxseed. Oh, goodness gracious, it's all over the place. Uh, look, now it's 9.82. <laughs> all right, did you have something you wanted to um, add? Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, That's give you nice. a little back. Thank you. <laughs> so we've got that. So now I've got that all down here, exactly where I want it to be, exactly. all down here at the bottom. So what you can do is you can come in and hand stitch this closed, yeah. or you can throw it on the machine and stitch it, Yeah. whatever is easier for you. I'm just going to throw it on the machine and stitch it, but I'm going to fold it nicely so I have that nice quarter inch seam allowance. If you want to pin it, you can, I just to help you. I think a good idea, especially because it's minky to hold it in place. Okay. All righty. I'm just going to throw in a pin there, and I could throw in another one if I'd like, just to slap it together real quick. Pinning those in just like that. Okay. Left a really small opening, so it's easy to go to the machine and throw it on or hand stitch it down. Okay. Either well, one. You're over here on the machine. So I'm coming good. over here, making sure you're keeping all that rice and flax seed off to the side. Mm -hmm. You don't want to stitch over that by any means. And I'm going to throw this on here. Make sure you pull out that first pin, because you don't want to stitch over it. <laughs> And then we will do a reverse stitch to lock it in. Pull out that second pin. Reverse and lock. Cut. Okay. Then you can trim off any little excess threads that you have that pop up. Good so far? Yeah, good so Kay. far. So you could stop there if you wanted. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. You could definitely stop there and it's ready. I mean, that's done. Ready to go. Yep. Easy. Mm -hmm. Boom. Cute. But if you wanted to keep the the rice, the, the, kind the, of the, the stuff more distri evenly distributed. And why, and why that's kind of nice, too, is that it's actually going to lay right there on your face right there and then fall. Right. Per properly. So you don't have to worry about shoving everything over. It already does it for you. So right. like you said, you can stop right there, manually or, move it every time, or you could go ahead and put the stitch in the middle. Right. So I'm just going to fold this in half, just mm -hmm. like so. 
And I'm going to kind of use my one of my index fingers to keep this. And kind of use my nails, my fingers to push all that stuff down to the yeah. side. Because you'll get those little rice pieces stuck right in that little <laughs> section right there. Trust me. Ask me how I know. And you don't want to stitch over with your sewing machine on yeah. that. So yeah. So you're just going to kind of ease all those out mm -hmm. of their little spot. I've got one little booger right here that just doesn't want There he goes. <laughs> Does not want to move. So once you have those separated, you can either use a pin or a couple of pins to pin that section to keep a little bit from moving, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'll take that and we'll go overhead and you can see what I'm doing here. It's going to come in right here with a pin here on this side. I'll do two pins on uh, you know, both sides. So one there and one there. Just to kind of keep it closed just a little bit. Yeah. Plus it kind of gives you the line in between too. Kind of give you a guideline when you're putting it underneath the hopping foot. Right. So I've got that. I guess the presser foot or walking foot. Or that foot. That foot. <laughs> and then now I can stitch what I'm going to hope to be a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> That's the key right there. That's the I've key. done a few straight of these line. and I've never got them straight. So we're going to see how this <laughs> works. So then I'm just going to throw that under the sewing machine. And stitch what we hope is a straight line. If it's not, don't make fun of me. <laughs> Okay. Pull our pins out because they were far, you know, far enough on the side you didn't have to pull them out while you were stitching. Set those to the side. And voila. Yep, voila. Not straight, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> but this is super fun, super fun. So what you can do, like you were saying with that, is now after that, you can just use it as it is. It's just kind of just a weight. You put it on there, relax. Or you can get some of these awesome sprays. Um from our friend next door, which we'll have some on our website too. And it's as simple as this. So which one do you want to use? I Just want to, to do, I want to do Mandarin. Oh, do you? Whoa, stepping yeah. outside the box. I here. always do like fruity stuff. That's true. So you so can I'm spray doing it on, on the cotton side because I want the minky side on my face. Exactly. So, so you oh, spray it away. Don't put it in it your mouth, your nose, any of that type of stuff. Um, and just kind of put it on there. You got to prime the spray. There you go. I got it. And then... You can let it sit out for a minute if you want to, or you could just lay it like that, and you can smell it. Oh, that smells so good. Or if you don't want to put it on there, you can just do like a little, like that. It's going to stay in the air or put it on your pillow. And her formula is so cool that it's so strong and nice that you only really need one spray at a time. What are you doing? Are you going to take a nap? <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. It's not comfy at all, but <laughs> <laughs> that's the idea. <laughs> Anyway, mm. we hope that you enjoyed that tutorial on how easy it is to make a weighted uh, pillow. We will have um, the kit's description in our below. So if you wanted to order a kit that's already done for you, especially with, like I said, the cuddle. We've already got it cut. Yep, so you're, not having, it cut for you're you. not having to buy a whole yard of it. You can get a simple piece and still get that nice feel and get to really enjoy. That actually smells really good. Which one, the mandarin? Yeah. The mandarin's really nice. Yeah, they all smell really good. Yep. So super fun, super easy, quick gift, use anything, right? Awesome. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on After Hours, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.